Hi friends, welcome to Pre-K with Miss K. Today I am joined by Mr. Bear. This week our lessons are going to be all about cars. cars. Thumbs up if you like cars. It's a new month. Let's check our calendar. Our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yesterday was Monday. Today is ta -ta Tuesday. Whatever comes next. Three, four, five. Number five. All right, we're going to start our months with January. January, February, March, April, May. May. It's not April anymore. It's May. So today is Tuesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. 2020. Don't forget to check and see what the weather is like at your house today. For our schedule, we have circle time, a Venn diagram. We're going to be sorting with a Venn diagram again. Things that are red, cars, and then in the middle where it overlaps, it'll be items that are red cars. Let's we'll see if you can do that. We have our story today, math. We're going to be using cars to look like numbers, counting all the way to 10. We have a new sight word, social studies. We're going to be learning about Kentucky today because they have the um, National Corvette Museum. And we're going to be doing an experiment with cars. Which car will go farther down the track? A regular Corvette or a Corvette that has quarters on it that makes it heavier? Which one do you think will go farther? The regular Corvette or a Corvette that has quarters on top. Then we'll end with our charade and our joke. Well, let's get started for circle time today. Our color today is the color? Yellow. Yellow, that's right, it's yellow. Yellow starts with a Y, Y-E-L-L-O-W. Our shape today. Give me a second. Twist my balloon. Our shape is, oh, it untwisted. Our shape is a diamond. That's right. Diamond that starts and ends with a d, 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 diamond. Our number today, you're going to need both hands. It's the first two digit number when we're counting. The first number with two digits is number. Ten. Let's use our fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we add five plus five equals ten. And our letter today. Our letter is V. V says Yeah, you could be like Mr. Bear. See if you can make a V with your hands. You go with one hand. Or if you want to try two hands, see if you can make a V. V, 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 V. We're going to be talking about vehicles. And there's even a V in Corvette that we're going to be learning about. Bye, V. Bye, 10. Some of the vehicles are ty also can be called types of transportation. We have a car, a plane, a motorcycle, the subway, a van, and a ship. A ship. And when, when there's a lot of vehicles on a road like this, it means that you could be stuck in traffic. Traffic. That's that big word. Lots of traffic on the interstate with all our different types of transportation and vehicles. We have just a couple of cards today. Our community helper is someone who cuts your hair. Could be a stylist, could be the barber. Go to them, get your hair cut. What rhymes with meat? Feet, keys, apple. What sounds the same at the end? Meat rhymes with? Feet. Feet. Feet on your meat? Oh, feet, oh. feet. Oh. What does not belong? This is easy. The turtle does not belong. These are all what kind of foods? What category? These are all fruit. Is a turtle a fruit? No way. It's he an is, animal. Yeah, he does not belong. All right, for our little cards, let's listen to the details. Ready? Luke 
gets to feed the monkeys fresh fruit every Saturday because his dad is the zookeeper. See if you can remember the details. Luke gets to feed the monkeys fresh fruit every Saturday because his dad is the zookeeper. Question one, who feeds the monkeys? Luke. Luke. Number two, what does he feed them? Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit, good remembering. And when does Luke go to the zoo? Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Last one, why does Luke get to feed the monkeys? Because his dad is the zookeeper. His dad is the zookeeper. I hope you were able to remember the details just like Mr. Bear. What do you use to hit a baseball? You need a bat. Of course you need a bat. Hey, better, better swing. When do you visit the doctor? When you need a checkup or you're sick. That's right. If you need a checkup, you're sick or you get hurt. When do you use an umbrella? When it's raining. Of course, when it's raining, we need an umbrella. And last one. What type of category? A hammer, screwdriver, and saw are all tools. Tools, of course, those are tools we use to fix. Stand up for your yoga stretch. We are going to be a type of vehicle that goes into outer space. A space shuttle. So arms up, one foot to the side, and balance. Woo! Blast off. Three, two, one. <laughs> Blast off. Let's blast off into doing our Venn diagram. Here's what it's going to look like, our Venn diagram. We have items that are red, cars, and some things that are bold. So in order to be here, you have to be a red car in order to fit in the both category. We're going to move over to our other section and do our Venn diagram. Okay, welcome back, friends. We're ready for our Venn diagram. We're going to start, and Mr. Bear is going to help us count all the vehicles. Ready? Let's count, Mr. Bear. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. We have nine vehicles. Okay, we're going to start all the way on the left with our Ferrari. Does it go in the red circle, the car circle, or both? Good, just a car. Next one, we have a red van. Where does that go? So it goes in the red section, a red van. Next, we have an orange Volkswagen car. Drive it to the right circle. There he goes into the cars. Next, we have a red car. Where does that one go? Vroom. Uh oh, he's a red car. The red car zooms to the middle because it's both red and a car. Next one, where does that car go? Over to the cars. Okay, then we have our lawnmower. Goes into the red section. Okay, we have our blue race car. Goes over to cars. Our red race car is both. That's right, it's red and a car in our red motorcycle. Where does it go? He's gonna do his wheelie all over to red. I hope you were able to complete the Venn diagram as well. Items that are red, ones that were both, and ones that were just cars. Which one had the, which circle had the most cars? Yeah, just our car circle. Which one had the least number of vehicles? Both, only had two. All right, bye di Venn diagram. We're gonna go back over for our story. Our story today is What Do Wheels Do All Day? By April Jones Prince. Illustrated by Yiles LaRoche. Here's our question. What do wheels do all day? Push, pull, pedal, toe. Wheels help to make us 
Go! Wheels whiz. Wheels were. Wheels carry travelers. Wheels circle. Wheels spin. Wheels race. Wheels win. Wheels zoom. Wheels putter. Sometimes wheels spit and sputter. Wheels roll. Wheels stroll. Wheels parade and wheels patrol. Thumbs up if you like going to parades. Wheels twirl. Wheels fly. Wheels soar into the sky. Thumbs up if you've ever been on a big Ferris wheel. Wheels work and wheels play. That's what wheels do all day. The end. Which one was your favorite of the wheels? Think to yourself. Hmm, I think mine was the Ferris wheel. Going around on the Ferris wheel. How about you, Mr. Bear? Which wheels were your favorite? Uh, the spinning. The spinning? Oh, like on a, the merry-go-round? Yeah, that one is fun. Spin on the merry-go-round. Try not to get dizzy. Whoa! The end. Those wheels were super busy. For math today, we used our cars and we turned them into numbers. We're going to count all the way to our number 10. Maybe after you watch the lesson, you can use your vehicles or toys or dolls at home. See if you can shape them into numbers. Are you ready to go count with us? Okay, friends, here we go. Here's our numbers. We're going to count starting with one and count all the way to 10. Mr. Bear's going to help us point. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to start at ten and go backwards. Ready, Mr. Bear? Ten, ten nine, nine, eight, eight seven, six, six five. Four, Where's four, Mr. Bear? Help us. Four, three, two, one. Great job. See if you can try to make some numbers that, with items that you have at home as well. We're going to go back over to do our sight word. Our sight word today is where. Can you say that? Where. where. Let's go through the other ones we've done and we'll look at our sentence. Where big I in like to See, have, you, go, not, it, is, big, I, and in. Our side word today was where. Our sentence is, where is the Corvette? We have always, we would make our first letters capital and at the end we add a question mark. Uh, the Corvette has a V in the middle. Where is the Corvette? See if you can tell me, is it on the right or on the left? The right. It's on the right. Here is our Corvette. And at the end of our lesson today, we have a special surprise video that's going to be on there because guess what? We know someone that has a real gray Corvette and Mr. Bear got to go in one yesterday. So we're gonna end our video. You get to see a little clip of Mr. Bear in a real Corvette. Let's go back to our word Corvette. How many letters are in the word? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight letters are in the word Corvette. How many words are in our sentence? One word, two, three, four. Four words in our sentence and we're asking a question because it has a question mark. So our answer, where is the Corvette? It was on the right and it's also going to be in the video. For our social studies, we are going to be learning about a state that has the National Corvette Museum. Do you know what state that is? It's called Kentucky. Thumbs up if you have ever been to Kentucky before. It's right south of Indiana and north of Tennessee. So south of Indiana and north of Tennessee is Kentucky. The capital of Kentucky is Frankfurt. But guess what? Their biggest city is Louisville. Louisville hosts a special horse race every year called the Kentucky Derby. Have you ever heard of that horse race? Kentucky Derby. But that's not where we find the National Corvette Museum. That's in Bowling Green, Kentucky. What's really special about the National Corvette Museum is that they have a special series right now called Vet Academy, where they have videos learning all different things about Corvettes. The second episode is about how there was a sinkhole at the National Corvette Museum. The sinkhole swallowed up eight real Corvettes. They had to dig them out from under the ground and get the Corvettes out. They couldn't save them, but they were able to get them out. So one of the Vet Academy uh, series is, videos is about the sinkhole that happened there. And another one is about how to change a real tire. So they're pretty interesting if you're looking for something else. Uh, the other thing that Kentucky is known for is its Mammoth Cave. Kentucky has lots of caves. Let's say bye to Kentucky and the National Corvette Museum. For our experiment today, we're going to be doing an experiment with the car. Which Corvette is going, which Corvette will go farther? The Corvette that has no coins on top or the Corvette that's made heavier with the quarters taped on top? What do you think? Let's go find out. Hi friends and welcome back to our experiment. Today we're going to see which car goes farther. The Corvette that has nothing on the top or the Corvette that's weighted down with three quarters. We're going to get started with our Corvette that has no weight. Let's count backwards from three, two, one, go! All right, we're going to mark where he stopped. We stop right there. We're going to put our three quarters on top. Okay, do you think this car is going to go farther than the first car? Yes or no? We'll count down. Three, two, one. Did the car go farther? Yes, it did. Because guess what? When you have more weight on the car, that gives it more momentum and it will go farther. Great job with our experiment. Let's go finish up with our charade and our joke and our Corvette video. Here we go. We're going to do our charade and our joke. Let's see if you can guess our charade. Are you ready? Driving. Yeah, driving a car. And Mr. Bear is going to help us out with our joke. You ready, Mr. Bear? Knock, knock. Who's there? Cargo. Cargo? Who? Cargo. Beep, beep. <laughs> Cargo. Beep, beep. We'll end up with our Corvette video. I hope you enjoy it.